So you could see that this needle, this needle, and this needle are not knitting properly, and I would have to hand knit those back every row. But now I'm going to clean them to see if that works. So I'm going to try a quick fix with WD-40. I take some paper towel and I put it underneath the needles. They're all out to hold. And then I, oops, this one goes on the top. <laughs> Go real fast. Wipe it. Go some more. Now you're going to hear some people say, Do not use WD-40 on your machine. But when you go and read the WD-40, it is really good for metal against metal. It repels dust, which is the one thing I really like compared to some of these other cleaners. I do have some Lori Lynn that I will use up, or maybe I'll even gift that to somebody, because I'm finding the WD-40 does work a lot better. So now, I want to wipe off the excess. There's a really good friend of mine that she's been using this stuff for 30, maybe even 40 years on all her machines, and she has never had a problem. Okay, so. The other thing I will do, and it's real quick, when the carriage is hard moving, I will... Just get a little squirt right back here while the carriage is on the machine. Little too much. And actually, I want my needles to go back. carriage is moving a lot smoother now on the machine so let me get the scarf started again and see how that works well it's working <laughs> okay so now I'm at the rows of pulling the end needles out of course those are going to knit properly but even before it wasn't and now here Without doing it, the stitches, the end needles are knitting properly. So in a pinch, you can use the WD-40. Uh, or if you don't want to take your needles out and clean them the other way, which I cannot do this time of the year, um, the WD-40 works.